In game number seven, it's Argentina versus Iceland. Argentina starting 11 is like this Romero, Pezella, Masciano, Otamendi, Messi, Pastore, Priorotti, Benaguer, De Maria, Iguain, Aguero. As for Iceland, their starting 11 is like this Christiansen, Arneson, Saviason, Sigurdsson, Gnarsson, Goodmanson, Bajansson, Sigurdsson, Halfordson, Bodvardsson, and Kajardsson. A couple of finger bossons on the bench. So we kick us off, it's Iceland kicking us off in Group D, match number seven. And this game will take place in the real world on 16th of June at the Okiaki Arena in Moscow. This is actually going to be the first time that these two sides have clashed. And in my simulation, Iceland in their traditional home jerseys, which look a bit purple. As for Argentina, they're in the traditional turquoise blue. Obviously, we can't put, we can't replicate the stripes of Argentina, so this is the next best thing. It's like, in fact, the actual strip that was used in the FIFA 95 game for Argentina. So we didn't we didn't tweak uh, with any colours there. Obviously, we changed the names to represent the current squads or what I think the current squads will be. Uh, Lionel Messi leading the line. He's actually playing in midfield for this side. Bit of a wanderer. Nice through ball there. Can uh, one of the Argentinian strikers? get them underway so this group group d consists of these two teams argentina and iceland and, and includes uh croatia and argentina's familiar opponent at the world cup nigeria they've played in quite a few world cups uh and they keep on doing it. and in fact iceland with a cheeky early shot there within the first just a, just under or just over a minute on the clock and that shot is uh, straight down romero's neck um but it keeps himself keeps argentina in this game and iceland the debutants or one of the two debutants of the World Cup, the other one being Panama. Uh, and these are everyone's favourite second team. Obviously, they did some heroic efforts in the Euros, uh, destroying, embarrassing England in the process, but getting knocked out in the quarterfinals. But hey, they, they were, they, at first they were just there to make up the numbers, but in the end they won over loads of hearts, and maybe they could do just the same at the World Cup. But to be honest with you, I don't see it. I see them being... Uh, I don't I don't see lightning striking twice. That's another way of putting it. I think Argentina will coast through this group. As for second, it's going to be a toss-up between Argentina, uh, Croatia and Nigeria. To be honest with you, I fancy the Africans to do a number. But we'll talk more about Africa, uh, Nigeria and Croatia when those two sides meet shortly in about a day or so. Uh, if you hear any dogs or barking in the background, it's I'm not at, uh, a lost and found or a puppy panel. It's actually my pup. Luna, she's cheering on Iceland and so am I, but right now Argentina plying the pressure on the, uh, the Scandinavian country. Um, but here come Iceland. They're not, uh, they're not just making up the numbers, they, they, they want to give them a go, especially in simulation. Anybody can get a goal and anyone can get a win. I've seen some upsets so far uh, in this one. Do I see an upset? I don't know. Don't think so. I think Argentina will, will come out on top. Some big heavy tackles coming in. That was probably, is that Aguero? No, Higuain gets himself an, a, a yellow card. Obviously, Argentina previously won the World Cup on, I think, two occasions. Last time was in 86. Um, so they are looking for uh, a way to, uh, to send Lionel Messi out in style. Obviously, uh, the current god of Argentinian football Diego Maradona does have a World Cup winner's medal to his name as for Messi he does uh, appear not to have any real highlights uh, when it comes to Argentinian from, uh, national football obviously he's won everything under the sun for Barcelona and he is a, a true legend world class player but one thing that his compatriot fellow La Liga player Ronaldo's done is, is, is won something at the world stage obviously they didn't win the World Cup with uh, Portugal but they did win the Euros um, in fact that's a little sting to the tail of that one Ronaldo was not on the field when uh, when they won I think he had an injury he was actually substituted if I recall but anyway um, Messi needs this to fill in the blanks and, and put him right up there with the likes of Pele and Maradona can he get it uh, we'll wait and see till the kickoff but anyway, that's the end of the first half. 
So Argentina get us underway for the second half of this match. Still nil-nil. Nothing really to get excited about. Uh, if you are new to this whole setup, there are goals in these games. Don't 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 you worry. They don't all peter out to nil-nil draws. I think we might have had one so far, but the rest I think they've all had goals. Um, also, if you are new to the setup and you like it, give me a thumbs up for the video and also subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing all the World Cup. Obviously, focusing on the group stages first and foremost. There's also some other World Cup stuff going on there. I've got Cast the Cat. She's predicted each and every one of the World Cup games. And also, we're going to have some previews, reviews for the games itself. So, very, very focused on the World Cup. This channel will be over the months of June and July. So, might as well hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all World Cup action. And also, all the FIFA 95 games. No one else is doing this right now with, uh, with a hacked version of the uh, classic if you are a old player, player of old like me, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the idea. Also, if you're a big fan of Argentina or Iceland and you want to comment on my pathetic attempts at naming the squads, uh, feel free to comment there as well. Open to all comments, really. As Argentina try and chip away, it's finally broken through. Can they get on the end of this? No. Iceland doing the business, trying to be very stubborn. And they would be happy with a point here against Argentina. Argentina will be a little bit miffed. Um, as they will need to make up ground up in the games against Croatia and Nigeria. Iceland, though, will be, will be optimistic moving forward. Um, as for the hacking the actual game itself, I had to add a few countries, Iceland being one of them. And also I hacked some of the attributes of some players, uh, mainly some of the main stars of world football, Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo, uh, Eden Hazard, and those kind of players. So he he uh, Messi is one of the best players on the books. Uh, but right now you're not really seeing the true effects of that because he's been cancelled out by a very stubborn Iceland um, as they try to upset the odds and, and get a win because they're looking comfortable at the moment. Slipped in though, it's still, oh, that, that was probably the best uh, highlight so far. Argentina kept it late in qualifying, only making it on the last match of their qualifying campaign. There was a, uh, obviously Chile were the team to miss out especially there's quite a few upsets around the world in the world football Chile Holland and Italy three major teams that you would have expected to quite breeze through um, not only qualifying to get to the World Cup but actually cru cruise through into the knockout phases of the World Cup but they're not going to be there so maybe a window of opportunity for some other teams perhaps Iceland uh, but there's also uh, some other new faces around including uh, Serbia I don't know, Serbia have been to a World Cup. Like Panama, another deb debutant. I don't expect them to to, uh, to compete, but... Uh, Iceland could upset a few people, but uh, right here, right now, they are stumbling to a nil-nil draw. Grinding out Argentina. Uh, and I'll be happy with that. As Romero kicks it out. It's picked up by the Argentinian defence. Floated forward. Can anyone get on the end of this one? Doesn't look like it. Here comes Iceland. It's eventually broken up by Argentina. Floated over the top. Come on, get some control on it. Somebody have a good shot. Turns and shoots. That is probably the best effort of the match. And that could be the actual main highlight of the match. As uh, Iceland now have a goal kick. In there's retro shirt that he's wearing. Headed onwards though. Argentina still have a couple of seconds left to try and find a winner. Oh, and that was another cracking effort. Still alive, but maybe maybe Iceland can, can hold them on now and, and, and hold out for a draw. It does look like it. Time is added on. And there you go, folks. There's the final whistle. So, finishes Argentina nil, Iceland nil. Uh, very, very dull game. I do apologize for all the fans out there watching this game, uh, expecting a thriller. But no, ends nil nil. Just the one player in the book, Higuain, with the... Uh, First half yellow. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.